welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynn If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, well, it's all about crochet. A little bit about knitting and a lot about yarn, but mostly it's about my journey in this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Friday with me. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you stopping by. If you could hit that thumbs up, um, before we get too much into this, I would really appreciate it. I have a lot of views, but not a whole lot of thumbs up. So if you could do that for me, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, and YouTube would too. Um, so today we have another Amagurumi, two baggy blankets, and the rest of my Mother's Day yarn haul from Hirschner's. I'm so excited. Can't wait to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. So let's start with the baggy blankets because we'll get those out of the way. Um, if you don't know what I mean by a baggy blanket, uh, I have several videos listed in my description box that will give you an idea of what we're doing. Um, this is a collaboration brainchild of uh, Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2, Lynette at Charm Grammy, myself. Billy the Crafty Floridian was originally involved. She's kind of taken a step back this year. So we're collecting blankets for a camp here in Eustis, Florida. Um, you've all heard the spiel. You all know about it. If you don't, go ahead and check out some of the uh, videos that are listed in the, um, my description box. and You'll get an idea of what we're collecting these blankets for. Uh, my goal between now and the end of February is, uh, or the beginning of February, whenever we go, I don't know exactly when in February, but two, at least one blanket a week. The last three weeks I've been able to get two done, which is good because I'm coming up into some really busy times and I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep up with that. I'm going to try really hard, but at least I'm, a, I'm ahead a couple of weeks. Our goal this year is 2,025 blankets in 2025. I think we can do this. Um, last year we collected 1,091 or 1,090, something like that. So we can do this, you guys. So anyway, baggy blanket number one is all in reds and whites with some blues and stuff thrown in there. Look at this beautiful uh, butterfly. And then we've got this really cute smiley face. And where's and here's our square with the heart. Every blanket that I've made since last year, um, I've put a heart on it somewhere. Either one that's already in the square or I've added one on. Uh, just another little touch from us to them. And this is blanket number one. Blanket number two. Isn't this fun? Now this square, these these uh, squares, these came from uh, Shannon at Another Yarn. Uh, she made these little polar bear squares that are adorable. And let's see, there's the heart square right there. We've got some different polar bears and some flowers and some, look how beautiful this one is. Isn't that pretty? So this is, blanket number two and uh, they will go in the big old pile that I've got to figure out something to do with now because I've had an avalanche out of the closet. Uh, one of the kittens got in here and decided that the blankets were something that they needed to be on top of and it just completely crashed. So I have to uh, come up with a different way of storing these until February. I don't know where it's going to be, but <laughs> uh, Allie and her family, my daughter and her family will be here at the end of June um, for like 10 days because we're doing some construction projects and her husband's a contractor. Um, so I have to have the bed cleared off because they need a place to sleep. Um, but I think once they go home, I'll start piling the blankets on the bed. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any other 
guess. Anyway, so that's the baggy blanket. Um, let's see. Okay. You know, I have been bitten by the amigurumi bug. I, I don't, there's just something about them when you've got a completed project and they turn out just so darling. So this was Edgar the elephant and he was the kind of one that got me started. And then we have Dewey the duck. And now we have Albert the cat. And he is so stinking cute. I can't stand it. Um, I used a Karen, what is this called? A Karen Blossom cake. And the color is, I have another one up here. No, I don't. I don't remember what the color is and it's out in the other room and I'm not going to go get it. But I just loved the, the corally orange and the green and the teal. And I just think he turned out super cute. Um, this is a paid for pattern. You can find the pattern itself on Ravelry or Etsy, but when you find it on Ravelry, they direct you to the Etsy site and you have to buy it through Etsy. Um, it's by Her Wool. Um, I'll link this pattern in the description box below. Um, it is written in German and English. So you most people are going to get the English version, but you get the, the German version along with it. Um, it was a very easy pattern to do. You start with one leg, you do the other leg, you attach them here, and then you work in the round all the way up. And then you make these little arms and sew them on, and then you do the face. Now in the pattern, she says, be creative with the face. She does have a um, piece that goes here that she calls the muzzle. I didn't want to do it because I thought it would cover up too much of the cute little coloring. So I just used a safety nose. And before I put the nose on, I tied some black yarn around for whiskers that look more like a mustache, but I still think it's stinking cute. Um, and then the other thing, the other direction she said in this is do not forget the eyebrows. And I did so on a couple of eyebrows. I use safety eyes that are like the cartoon eyes. Um, but there are so many patterns out there. Um, one of my friends, uh, Joe from Joe's web, do you know her? She has a tutorial to make eyes out of crochet that'll give you the same effect with the little glint in their eyes. Adorable pattern. I'll link Joe below. Go check her out. Um, and she, you can do like I did all of her leggy froggies and I did a leggy bunny. Where's my leggy? Here's my leggy bunny. Um, so you can go check out Joe. Uh, at Joe's web and she will have a really darling eye that you want if you don't want to use safety eyes if you're using because I would not suggest safety eyes and safety notes for anybody under the age of three because even though they're safety eyes and they say they can't pull off you never know kids are ingenious they might be able to get them off and they they do present a, a choking hazard so nobody under the age of three with safety eyes. So there are alternatives out there to make some really darling eyes. But I I wanted to quit, quickly finish this. So he got safety eyes and a safety nose and a little uh, embroidered mouth and eyebrows. He's so cute. I definitely am going to be making a bunch of these because I think my older grandkids, uh, my Michigan grandkids, Carson and, and Trey, love, their, they have five cats at their house. I think they would really like an Albert. And you could, you can change the face and make it, a, you know, change the personality. I mean, without the whiskers, he's just as cute. I still think it looks like a mustache, but what are you going to do? I think it's adorable. Don't you? He's so fun. Anyway, this is Albert the cat. And, uh, this one, it definitely, the stitches are tighter. Um, somebody suggested I look at the, um, 
the way to do a yarn under instead of yarn over. I tried it, but um, it's unnatural for me. It's something I need to practice, but I, I do see what it, a difference it makes. Um, but I think with this one, I used, I think, uh, I used a 3.75 millimeter hook with this and it's a four weight yarn. So I think my stitches are still tight enough and it, you can't see anything inside. So it was a better option, um, than, uh, using a bigger hook. Although this one does suggest a three millimeter hook. She does in the pattern tell you, you can use any weight yarn, just use a corresponding hook. So, you know, if you use in a bigger hook and a bigger yarn, you're going to get a bigger Albert, but you could also do it smaller if you're so inclined. Not me. This is as small as I'm going to go. <laughs> he, that he's good right there. So that's Albert. You guys, I'm, I really am enjoying, uh, making amigurumi. I am not going to run out and buy a ton of blanket yarn and plushy yarn. I, I'm not going to buy stuff. I have enough stuff here, I think, that will make some. Uh, the next one that's going on my hook is going to be that fruit stripe gum uh, horse, for sure. That is definitely going on next. I don't know when. Um, probably in July because Carter's birthday is in August because coming up, I got a lot of stuff I want to do and, uh, I might, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can fit it in. Um, I got to finish two shawls, but that kind of leads me into what's in the bag. So this is my, the last of my Hershner's Mother's Day and it came with this flyer so okay enabler alert Hershner's is having their mega clearance and in here they have um, where did it go I wanted to tell you one of the ones that was in here they have Karen spice cakes that are normally $12.99 for $5.99 they have Karen baby cakes where did I see that Karen baby cakes for $3.99. That's three, 231 yards on a four. Who's got, they got, um, doo, 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 doo. Premier Everyday uh, DK prints are $3.49 a ball. But what I bought out of here, oh, they have, that's the other one. They have Premier Butterfly, which is a really pretty yarn for $6.99. Or if you buy a bag of three for $17.97, that drops it down to $5.99 a piece. So, and they have one, two, three, four different colors of the Butterfly yarn. I like this one. And that one's called Parrot. And then the Retro Sunset was really pretty too. So, um... Yeah, they've got some pretty decent uh, sales going on at Hirschner's. Okay, so I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just I'm just enabling alert. What what I bought is they had that's a waste on their clearance site their Gala Cotton, and this is Willow Yarns, and it's. Cotton. Uh, I'm gonna have to eat, open the bag. I got the bag of five for seventeen. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, the, uh, this color I got is linen, and this is seventy percent cotton, thirty percent wool of a number two. Um, it says to use a 3.5 millimeter hook. The did I tell you the color is called linen? Um, there are 295 yards, um, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, machine wash, cold. Um, 
Anyway, okay, I got 10 because this is going to be, remember that cardigan that I showed you, the V-neck cardigan that I found in Simply Crochet on my Kindle? That's what this is gonna turn into. This is gonna be really nice, nice summer throw on cardigan. So I have 10 of those. And then I also bought, because I couldn't say no, in this color. And this color they call navel. Isn't that a beautiful blue? I really like this. This is going to turn into some kind of a top or something because it's a really nice cotton wool blend and I got 10 of those. Probably more, way more than I needed for what I'm planning, but I'm thinking a tank top with this. I mean, don't these look good together? Can you see this with this cardigan over the top of it? Wouldn't that be pretty? So yeah, that this is the last of my Mother's Day yarn. I really like the quality of Willow yarns. Uh, I've got a lot of the willow wheels and I really, really like their, their quality. Um, I know it's part of Hirschner's, but, um, I really like it. So anyway, so these are the last of my mother's day. Um, So here we are. It's Friday. We're getting ready to go into the weekend. Um, I have a collaboration review coming up. I had a company reach out to me and they sent me some really adorable kits. I cannot wait to share with you. Those I will share with you one day next week. I'm going to do on camera unboxing and show you everything that's in the kit then do the project, review all of that, and then put the whole video together. So it's going to take me a couple of days to get that video together. Oh, if you like my shirt, I'm a hooker in my spare time. This is a shirt that I got from uh, Timu. Super soft. Really like this. Um, most of the t-shirts that you've seen me wear in the little novelty t-shirts, most of them have come from Timu. And they're really inexpensive, less than $10. Again, I'm not affiliated with Timu. I'm just telling you because somebody event, evident, will ask me, where'd you get your cute shirt? This one came from Timu um, or Temu or however you say it. What else? Um, I think that's it, you guys. I'm going to let you go. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, I don't know about you guys, but we don't have a whole lot of plans this weekend. I think it's going to be a pool weekend. It's going to be hot here, but that's okay. Um, so remember to take care of yourself, give yourself some grace, but above all, be kind to everyone and we'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone.